Words in papers, words in books, words on TV, words for books, words of comfort, words of peace. The English language is one of the most complicated in the world, and we all make the odd spelling mistake from time to time. But when you see one in public, that's another matter. We took some of these examples to the Warwickshire home of a spelling expert. It's an example of a correct spelling in the wrong place. If you saw it in America, you wouldn't worry. The only reason we normally spell it with an RE is because we borrowed the word from French, where of course it is not pronounced centre, it's centre. This road sign's in Worcester, but not everyone we spoke to in the city noticed the mistake. To be truthful, I couldn't tell you. I really don't know. I don't drive, so I can't tell you. Have a look at that road sign and see if you can tell me if there's anything you spot wrong with it. They've spelt centre, E-R instead of R-E. From Worcester to Stoke-on-Trent, and yet another bad example. Here they've used entirely the wrong word. What's more embarrassing is it's a council sign. One other embarrassing statistic, a recent survey by the Spelling Society, found that less than half of us can actually spell the word embarrassed. Surely not. We took the challenge to the people of Stoke-on-Trent. Just wondered if you can spell the word embarrassed for me. E M B A R I S E D. E M B A R R A Z E D. E M B A R R E S E D. Oh dear me, maybe we could all do with a return to the classroom. Nadine Towell, BBC Midlands Today.